and welcome to the Milo Beasley Show, doo -doo 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 -doo, episode number 169, 69, uh, here with special guest uh, Josh Petersdorf, how yeah, are you doing man? Yeah, doing great brother, thanks for having me aboard man. Yeah, you just had your wrestling debut. That was my wrestling debut. Here at uh, Fantasy... Super Cosplay Wrestling. They really got to work on that name. Right. FSCW here at Florida Supercon. Um, and yeah, you're hanging out. Are you a big wrestling fan then? I'm a huge wrestling fan. Been a wrestling fan since uh, the first match I saw was Ultimate Warrior and Papa Shango's angle back in the day. And so my favorites. Papa Shango stole the tassel and Warrior was thrown up backstage and it really bothered me and like I was crying that night and that's when my mom said, oh, well, you know, you know, it's... It's not real, you know, and everything's kind of this. And I was like, oh, well, that's why he was upset, because he didn't get to win. <laughs> I was I So then care. your mom ruined it for you. I didn't care. At a young age, I was already in. You're like, oh, whatever, mom. You don't You don't know. You don't know. So, <laughs> so that, that, that was your first uh, in, uh, insight into wrestling. And here? And here, 25 years later, right? I've gone to tons of live events. I uh, migrated my way from the top of the arena to the second deck to, you know, lower level. It was at Royal Rumble 98, and Shawn Michaels broke his back. Back at San Jose when he got flipped over the casket with Mike Tyson in the skybox too. I remember all that good stuff. Last event I was just at was uh, where were we? I think it was uh, we were at the Raw right before the past thing in LA. So right, oh yeah, right before not the Battlegrounds pay per view, the one right before the Raw before that. And, and you got to make your debut. Uh, I made my debut in front of like a hundred people in a VFW. I know. You made your debut in front of a thousand people here I know, at the right? Supercon. I don't deserve it. Thank you guys so much for giving me the opportunity to come out there and perform. Thank you very much. So who, who is your all-time favorite wrestler then? Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels is your all-time favorite. Is my all-time favorite. But right now, currently, I'm really a big Kenny Omega guy. I'm loving the, the Bullet Club. I'm a huge AC Styles fan. And Seth Rollins. Those are probably my top three right there. That's, uh, that's that's a high pretty good class. group of yeah, guys. High over. caliber talent there. So uh, your character on, on, on Overwatch, the, the video game, is Roadhog. Yes. Have you done? Have you have you done? You've you've done the Roadhog, Jesse James, right? You've done like that thing, but incorporate. You know, instead of Road Dog, it's Roadhog. Roadhog, Jesse James, Road Dog. I've heard that a couple times. Right. You know, like that. And uh, Roadhog is just a big, portly fellow. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so what is it about the wrestling? that you like. I, oh man, I was, uh, I, my dad and my mom tell this story, and I don't remember this, but they tell me this story. They said, one time, the first time you ever saw wrestling, you were watching like Hulk Hogan or something, and you came to us and you, you were upset that someone had lost, and when we explained to you what had happened, you didn't care. You just knew that you loved wrestling. And we knew from that moment, like my mom would always watch me, I would try and watch the first five minutes on pay-per-view before it blurred out or whatever. So she, one day when WrestleMania 10 rolled around, she was like, Josh, do you want to watch this? And I was like, yeah! And so she ordered it. And first pay-per-view I got was WrestleMania 10 and the rest is That's awesome. So uh, you, you do voiceovers for, uh, for video games. I do. Who do we have to contact to get you to be in the WWE. Oh, what would you? What would you do? How many people would you? Would you uh, kill in order? I mean, no, 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 no. Bad question. Uh, no. So, is is that a dream to to be in a wrestling video? It game? was. It would be an amazing dream to be involved in the WWE in any capacity. And this was a dream. Being able to go in that ring and perform was a dream come true for me. So thank you to everyone here uh, who was definitely part of that. I really appreciate. It. And who can say uh, that they got super kicked by Daredevil on their first? No one can say they got super kicked by Daredevil, but me! I know you have to go, but the thing we like to do here on the Milo Beasley Show is called the Top 5. Okay. So Top 5. Five, five, you, five, 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 you, five, you named five. A, a couple of your favorite uh, wrestlers. Okay. But let's do, uh, we're here at a comic book convention, 5 favorite comic book characters, no particular order. Go. Uh, five favorite comic book characters. Number one, Cyclops, X-Men. Number two, Spawn. Uh, number three, Mickey Mouse. I like the Mickey Mouse. Number four, Archie. I had lots of Archie and Betty and Veronica. And number five, Superman. Awesome. Where can folks find you on the social media? You can find me at twitter.com slash crankyj at joshpetersdorf.com or you can just go on Twitch TV slash optimus underscore slide. Are you cranky? I am always cranky. That's how you got the name Cranky J? <laughs> Of course, you can find me on all the socials at uh, the Wrestling Bum. 
find me on Facebook, The Milo Beasley Show, YouTube, The Milo Beasley Show. Uh, anything else before we wrap up? Ready to go, whole hog. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you guys so much. Are, are you trying to say or insinuate that I don't wake up like this? Like, I feel like you're saying I put on some kind of mask and facade, like, this is not me, you know? Huh. And I don't appreciate that. I'm a little offended. I think you should do better with your life.